Hi everyone, Andrew Renee here for Yahoo Esports. I'm with Ryan Clevin, the lead multiplayer designer on Gears of War 4. And we are here today to talk about esports. Obviously, we're Yahoo Esports, and you guys are doing some really exciting stuff with Gears 4, and you guys are going to be debuting something at PAX East. Uh, yeah, that's right. We've got a new mode called Escalation, and uh, it was built from the ground up for esports. Uh, it's something that we looked at the community and we took a lot of their feedback around the existing game modes and we thought that we had, well, you know, some work to do there. So we came up with some cool ideas about, um, you know, how the mode unfolds as well as some innovative stuff for, for console shooters uh, that we hope people will like. And you guys have added in a really cool sounding spectator mode. Yeah, so on top of like Escalation, we hope provides all these opportunities for people to cast all these new unique moments. And so we had to build a cool spectator system on top. Uh, you know, like a lot of other, there's some other games out there that have really cool spectator systems as well. And we think ours is competitive with those ones. We, we are able to see all the health and all the different weapons that people have, who's up, who's down, and be able to turn things on or off or x-ray mode, and a whole bunch of new cameras that are really allowing people to get really close to the action that makes Gears of War what it is. Did you guys work with any of the pro teams or pro players on designing these specific mechanics for spectator mode? Um, it, well, we had a few pro players that came to work with us that definitely told us how these things were done. Uh, and we showed our spectator mode to uh, a variety of different uh, pro players through some play tests. And we took their very specific feedback and we tried to work it into our design process. So the competitive landscape for esports has changed quite dramatically since mm -hmm. Gears of War 3 came out. Was that something that you guys were worried about, you know, kind of jumping back in, knowing that it's quite a different place now than it was five years ago? Well, actually, it was really inspiring. I mean, I think that Gears has a long history with esports since, you know, the first one with MLG and Gears 1. And I think that we've seen the entire whole, you know, community and the, the esports scene evolve over that time. And it means that there's a lot of lessons to learn that we can take from as a to inventing it all ourselves, uh, as well as add our special flavor to it. So I think that that's something that, that we saw as an advantage, actually, and inspiring. Is there anything else you guys are specifically doing gameplay-wise to foster you know, new players you know, aspiring to become you know, a Gears of War esports player? Um, well, uh, we, we do have a, a skill ranking system that helps people sort of migrate from being a new casual player all the way up to a, you know, a professional player that we think uh, uh, will help people get there. How many hours do you think I'm going to need to practice to get there? You? Not very many. Oh, come on. You uh, saw me get killed over there a lot. Don't lie. Well, with our new <laughs> system, it'll be pretty quick. Is there anything else that you want to make sure people know about what you guys are doing for eSports and Gears of War 4? Yeah, we've taken very, uh, like, like two things. One is our, our LAN, so we're very dedicated to making sure that the game plays offline and, and, and on a LAN so that there's absolutely like the lowest ping times possible. Uh, we've also taken special care and attention to tuning the weapons uh, for competitive play. So every single weapon in there is being considered about how it's balanced, um, how it's finely tuned to make sure that the, there's the maximum sort of skill cap for the game. You say LAN, I think PC. Is Gears 4 coming to Windows 10? Uh, no comment. Oh, come on. I thought I was going to get you. <laughs> well, Ryan, thank you so much for chatting with me today. We will keep you guys up to date on all things Gears of War right here on Yahoo Esports.